just gassing up. We're in South Dakota somewhere. RKL required. What's That's RKL? It. We're headed out to uh, Heartland Pride Outfitters. Meet up with Cody. This looks like the last gas station for a while, so <laughs> I figure we might as well top her off. We're like seven hours into this, I think. Seven, eight hours maybe. We got four hours to go. I've never hung an antelope that. before. <laughs> I've never hung out with Anthony before. <laughs> so this is gonna be an interesting trip. Fun fact, first episode I ever edited for the Breaking Point was Renan's antelope hunt with Cody. Somewhere in Nebraska, not out here, but it's kind of cool. Coming for full circle, and now I get to chase him. We're close, 10 minutes. Been about 12 hours on the road, couple stops, but I'm excited to see what puts in store for us. I have no idea what to expect. This is a whole new game. So hopefully Cody's, Cody's gonna lay it out how to play the game. When he comes in, you know, you see he's kind of about three, four inches above his ears. Sure. Um, anything like that's going to be a good, respectable bill. Okay. Well, yeah, you wouldn't want to pass on this guy, but obviously, yeah. I mean, they're, you know, just a age difference, you know? Yeah. I mean, one yeah. just older. Sounds good. Yeah, mate. Is that the call? That's the call. We just got a nice little snooze in. Cody just pulled in. And we're going to happen a blind. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to kill time. an antelope. It's going time. My first hunt for antelope ever. I'm pumped. We just, uh, we're BSing with some of the guys in camp who both tagged out yesterday, I think both of them did. So they got me super jacked. <laughs> These animals just get more and more interesting the more I hear about them. I, just, I can't wait to see them up close. I'm so jacked. We are just getting comfy in this master suite. This blind is enormous. We got snacks. We're here till dark. Got a nice view. Loving life right now. This is awesome. Cody hooked us up. He said that uh, there's a couple different bucks hanging out in this area, but we're just gonna hang tight. Let's see if anything comes in before dark. Five after four. Still Morning. tired. Still trying to get you up on sleep. We're gonna go hop on blind. Sit for 13 hours. It's supposed to be 90 today. There's actually some lightning cracking out there right now, but it hasn't rained a drop by the sound or by the looks of it. If it doesn't rain, hopefully those goats will be thirsty coming in the water today, but we'll see. You know, you're gonna get real close out there today.
Yeah. <laughs> I need some time. Anyway. <laughs> need a minute. We're sitting here just <laughs> BSing like, man, we're gonna have to sit in this blind all freaking day. It's hot already. It's like 11 o'clock. Sweating. And like Anthony's been saying the whole time, I can't wait to pull one on you. And he goes, Big Al, I'm not kidding. And I'm like, yeah, you are. And he's, like, <laughs> he's like, dude, I'm not kidding. And I couldn't see him at all. He gets the camera rolling and they're coming in, the big ones in the back, and they get into like 40-ish, and they're like spooky. I don't think any of them took a drink. They were all just real nervous. And I kept ranging and ranging and ranging, and finally he turned away. I don't know how I made that happen, but it was, I think I put a pretty good shot on him. First antelope I've ever seen that close. <laughs> and we just hopefully made it happen. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you. I can't thank Cody enough for this hunt. I mean, this basically day one of our hunt. He let us come out a day early yesterday, and we sat for half the day and had a great time. Didn't see anything, but this is, we're halfway into our first day. <laughs> we just had three awesome goats come in. This is incredible. I'm so pumped. Thank you so much, Cody. <laughs> We didn't make it very far out there before this rain just started pounding us and the wind picked up like crazy. But we didn't see anything, no blood, no dead antelope, and we decided to come back to the tent and wait it out. I don't know if we're going to be able to see much for blood in this real dry, thin grass anyway. And this rain's definitely not going to help that either. So once this passes, we might just have to go out there and kind of do a little bit of a grid search. There's a dead goat laying right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He didn't go. He is 117 yards from the blind. Oh my God, what a beautiful animal. Oh my gosh. I got a little nervous when we came out and the rain came in and we hadn't found him. Cause I swear I saw him go down. Well, we had just taken the wrong bearing. We came back out, and here he is. This is uh, my first goat ever. My second day goat hunting ever. <laughs> I could not be happier. I can't thank Cody enough. Heartland Pride, I don't know anything about goats, but I'm pretty sure this is a dang good goat. I can't wait to put a back strap on the grill later. <laughs> Try my first bite of goat. Thanks again, Cody. Yeah, you're gonna watch that down the camera.